Hi everyone, welcome to Bonnie Carolee Makes Cards. Well, I'm doing a little bit of watercoloring, a little bit of die cutting, and a little bit of stenciling in this slimline card featuring Simon Says Stamps, Laird Birdie from their newest release, Over the Moon. I've paired it with a couple of other products that are fairly new that I love, Etched Berry Branch and one of the layering stencils from Christmas Foliage. I'm going to begin with my watercolor background. I'm working with Canson XL watercolor paper and a number 10 paintbrush. I'm painting both the front and the back of the panel with clean water. This will help it to lay flat. I want a soft background with lots of texture. I'm working with Sennelier paints. The colors are very translucent. The rose color that I'm painting with is watered down and applied diagonally across the panel. It is then dried. Again, the panel is painted with clean water and then I apply a second coat of the rose. After the panel is dried, I'm going to be painting on vertical stripes of white paint. I just dampen my paintbrush and pick up the paint directly from the pan. If the white is watered down, it will not be seen at all. All of these layers create a beautiful, soft, textural background. This oversized panel is then die cut using Pink Fresh Studio Slim Stitched Rectangles die. The die is placed on the corner of the paper so that I can use some of that background for the sentiment. One of the stencils from Simon's Christmas Foliage will be used to apply some additional subtle interest to the panel. I've applied Pixie Spray to the back of the stencil. This is a low tack adhesive that will hold it in place and also prevent paint from seeping underneath. I'm using a sponge to apply white gouache, a water-based paint. It is tapped up and down on the stencil, not rubbed. The pattern isn't consistent across the stencil because it's a layering stencil. I clean up the stencil, make sure that my panel is dry, and then I'm going to turn my stencil around. The glue is still going to hold it in place, and I'm going to stencil in some additional leaves in those open areas. After the panel is dry, I add in a few more leaves just to get a balanced look across the panel. Then into the spatter box it goes and I'm going to use the gouache again to apply a fine spatter across the panel. With the background done, I can now turn my attention to the details. I've used the etch berry branch to die cut both white cardstock and foam. I want to stack these, but I know it's going to be a little bit tricky with those thin stems. So I'm using Tombow glue. I'm applying it to the white cardstock die cuts and I'm going to set them aside to dry completely. When Tombow glue is dry, it is tacky and repositionable, giving me some flexibility when I stack these delicate branches. And while I'm waiting, I'm going to start working on the beautiful layered birdie. I used the die to cut Canson XL watercolor paper, the same paper that was used in the background. I'm going to continue working with Sennelier watercolor paints. I begin by putting on just a light wash of gray on all of the die cuts. Rose is introduced to the top of the birdie's head and his breast. I add a line of gray at the base of the eye to give it some definition. To add lots of depth to this sweet bird, I add many layers of paint. As I build up the color, I'm constantly putting those components together so I can get a sense of how they are working with each other. I found it a little bit challenging working on these parts individually and trying to create something that's going to have a unified appearance. So I just continued to put all those pieces together, take them apart, make some adjustments, and then put them back together again until I was happy. Then I set them aside to dry completely and started working on stacking those two delicate branches. As I suspected, this was definitely challenging stacking the cardstock on the foam. 
I'm glad that I decided to use the Tombow glue. It certainly made things a lot easier. And that took enough time for that bird to dry and I can start layering it together. Putting the pieces together is almost like a bit of a reveal. You finally get to see what it actually is going to look like when it's layered properly. To add on the main wing, there is a score line that I just draw along with the glue. It gives me a nice clear visual so that I can get that in position. Now that the bird is all put together, I'm going to go back and add in just a few little details. The little die cut dot for the eye is put in place. I am going to use Nouveau Drops and if it is not a flat surface, the Nouveau Drops will dimple. White watercolor is also used to add in some subtle dot detail to the breast. Okay, time to start assembling this card. The watercolor panel is a little bit warped. I'm adhering it to foam, placing a weight on it, and I'm going to set it aside until that glue is completely dry. After a few minutes, the excess foam can be trimmed off. The largest die from Pink Fresh Studio Slim Stitched Rectangles is used to die cut a layer of matte silver cardstock. Simon's Miss You Sentiment is die cut from both the leftover watercolor panel and matte silver cardstock. This sentiment is popped down on the panel roughly where I want it so that I can position the foam back etched berry branches. After they're adhered, I'll flip the panel over and trim off the overhang. Now to finish up that sentiment. The watercolor die cut will be mounted on the matte silver one slightly offset. Just that little bit of shine around the edges is going to help that sentiment pop off its background. Don't forget to dot the eye. First goes the silver dot and then offset slightly the pink one. The foam back panel is adhered to the silver one. To adhere Simon's Laird Birdie, I'm going to be using a little bit of foam tape. The bird is going to be sitting on the edge of one of the leaves and needs to be at the same level as the foam backed branch. I'm placing just a little dot of glue on each of the claws so that they stay in position. I have two additional die cuts of the etched berry branch out of the matte silver cardstock. For variation, these are not going to be foam mounted. I'm going to cut them apart and add them in just to fill out that leafy background for the bird. One of the sprigs of berries is trimmed down so it can be adhered to the underside of the bird's beak. Reverse tweezers do a good job of holding everything in place until the glue is dry. Medium size and small confetti are adhered to the berries. I choose between pink, a pale pink and cream colored ones. I also add some silver confetti to the background. To wrap this up, I finish up with Nouveau Crystal Drops Morning Dew. When it dries, it gives the confetti a jewel-like appearance. I hope you enjoyed this video featuring Simon's Laird Birdie in their newest release, Over the Moon. This beautiful and versatile bird could be used for any occasion or holiday. If you are interested in any of the products that I've used to make this card, you can find links in my YouTube description or on my blog at bonniecarolee.com. As always, I appreciate your visit.